me there, but I don't know if I'm going on. Uh. Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. It's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one tonight. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack. He just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your headgear? I sleep in my headgear. All the time? All the time. All right, big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. Here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 18 wins, four losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Josh Emmett! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 11 losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Sacramento, California, the California Kid, Uriah Faber! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is now underway on one side of the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Mott. Wow! Faber goes for the, now the transition to the judo throw, right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. Side control now, DC, a lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Left hand punches the clinch. Big kick lands. Now connects with the right. 
Faber's kick blocked. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, nice. Lands the right hand. Again, back into this position. He lands the head kick. Well, he has certainly found the range and stayed. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because this guy is a pullback very bad. Close guard. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip us. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the... And this might just be a matter of time. Side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands. Oh, going. roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called stop this contest at 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the California Kid, Uriah Hayes. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, also, most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.